the role that I have played within this special report on renewable energy and climate change mitigation uh, is that I have been a coordinating lead author in chapter 11, which is the chapter to do with policy, financing and implementation. What that means is that um, there are a, a series of people who are essentially managing the whole process. They're the coordinating lead authors. And then there are a number of lead authors who are writing various bits and then there are contributing authors. And for that policy chapter, we've had about oh, 50 or 60 people involved. And so the CLA is responsible for uh, managing all those people to write the right things at the right time and then bringing it together and trying to make it readable and fitting the um, information that's in the main report into the um, summary for policymakers and also into the technical summary. If governments are considering how to pay for renewable energy, evidence shows that if they put in place a long-term framework which is stable and tr transparent and consistent, that will bring, that will reduce risk and that will bring in investment either from uh, public, uh, either from private companies via R&D or in other ways that will bring down prices. So over the long term that is the best way to lead to lowest price um, renewable energy technologies and that will cost uh, consumers least over the long term. If a country was thinking about the kind of market design or policy design for renewable energy, I think the key answer is that there is no one size fits all. Um, the right policy for any country relates to the circumstances and goals of that country. And in the end, um, it's not so much the policy design, whether it be a fit or a quota, but it's the details that fit with the country that matter most of all. When thinking about um, the need for policies, I think there are, have been some examples when uh, renewables has developed without policies, but the over, overwhelming evidence is that policies drive renewable energy. And if you look over the last five years, you can see that renewable energy has increased rapidly because the number of renewable energy policies have uh, increased over that time.